What's up, everyone? This is the Chicago Sports Talk. Michael here today with another video, another topic. Justin Fields is the most disrespected quarterback in the NFL, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I have a theory. They don't hate, like, they don't hate Justin Fields. That's number one. I think they hate the team that he's on. Because, let's be honest, folks, even the most delusional Bears fan will tell you out there that the Bears have suffered uh, enough quarterback, uh, you know, the Bears haven't had a good quarterback history at all. I'll be the first one to tell you that we haven't had a quarterback that threw over 4,000 yards. That is the reason why Justin Fields gets disrespected. They call him a running back. They say that the Bears are are setting up for Caleb Williams or Drake. Like, Justin Fields is being ma majorly disrespected because of the team that he's on. People say, oh, he's not a good thrower of the football, or he's just all he is is a glorified running back. Or you get these like geeks that sit here and they just think that they know football, but they don't. But you just get these individuals here and they talk fo they they think they could talk about football like Colin Cower, because like Colin Cower is basically, you know, dumb as hell. And he says that Justin Fields didn't have a worse offensive line, even though the offensive line was way worse. Often the offensive line was way worse. And the Bears receiving core was bad last year. He can like people can bring up old Justin Herbert had a bad offensive line, or Joe Burrow had a bad offensive line, or how Patrick Mahomes didn't have a good offensive line, even though I think that's totally false. That Mahomes old Mahomes always had a top offensive line. But even if he didn't, he still had weapons to throw to. I mean, Patrick Mahomes had Tyree Kill and also um just Justin Herbert had uh Keaton Allen, he had Mike Williams. Uh Joe Burrow had Jamar even before Jamar Chase, uh Joe Burrow had uh Tyler Boyd and T. Higgins. Like like I said, even if like the Bears like the Bears have everything around Justin Fields in order to succeed, like I said, it's up to him on how he does it. But like I said, I believe he's going to take that next step this year of being a very elite quarterback. And you could call me biased. You could call me a homer. You could call me a delusional Bears fan. I think Justin Fields can be the second best quarterback in the NFC behind Jalen Hurts. I think that Justin Fields will be better than Dak Prescott. I think Justin Fields will be better than Daniel Jones. I think Justin Fields will be better than uh, who else? He'll be better than Stafford. He'll be better than Geno. He'll be better than Brock Purdy. But I think he'll be the second best quarterback in the NFC behind Jalen Hurts. Now, could he potentially be better than Jalen Hurts? We don't know that. We have to wait and see to find, figure that out. But like I said, I think Justin Fields can be the second best quarterback in the NFC behind Jalen Hurts. Because he has the weapons, he he has you know a good supporting cast. Now it's up to him to see that if he can develop that right way. He's got DJ Moore, he's got Darnell Mooney, he's got Chase Claypool, he has Cole Kamen, he has Robert Tunya, and he has a very good offensive line. It's up to him if he if he makes that leap. I believe he will. And do I think he's going to win MVP? Like most people are predicting, no. Like. And people are bringing up, oh, you guys, Trubisky was the most betted quarterback to win um, in 2019. Justin Fields is way better than Trubisky. Yeah, I mean, I, again, that's not saying much, but Trubisky never had a deep arm accuracy. He didn't have a good, uh, he didn't have a good, like, deep accuracy. Justin Fields has that. Trubisky, the only thing that Trubisky did for us was with his legs, like extending plays with his like legs and stuff like that. I mean, you could say that Justin Fields has better legs than Trubisky, but that was all Trubisky can do with us, like extend legs, getting out of the pocket, do these like boot. Like Trubisky wasn't special. Could he win us games? Yeah, but he wasn't that special at all. I'll be the first one. I, I like Trubisky the play. I like Trubisky the person, but as a player, I, I even though I have a video saying that he – that he could be a franchise guy, that he's the franchise quarterback. But I just said, you know, 
maybe he can like win us some games if we had a good head coach and a very good defense. Then we don't we don't know what what could have happened. But like I said, you know, Trubisky was never a superstar that Justin Fields is right now. Like as far as the whole Justin Fields thing goes, the Bears have the right set for him in the future we have two first round picks one from us and one from the panthers depending how the panthers do we could get a top 10 pick because i think the panthers will finish six and eleven they'll finish six and eleven so we are will be will be at the six or seven uh spot and then where we finish which is 10 and seven we're gonna have like the 21 or the 22nd pick in the draft, we're right in position to uh, be able to succeed for the future and build a championship roster. Like I said, you know, the, this is a time to change things once and for all in Chicago. And I'm going to use my boy Keith on the mic uh, words. Justin Fields literally has the chance to be um, – the greatest thing in Chicago ever since Michael Jordan. Like he has the opportunity to be that not, and people want to say, Oh, what about Derrick Rose? Derrick Rose didn't, I mean, I love Derrick Rose, but he wasn't, uh, he, he was shining, but he wasn't shining like uh, Michael Jordan was. But um, all of the media analysts says that the bears are going to, well, it can't be worse because the bears are going to go from three to five to six to seven. That's even though it'd be people like, oh, well, that's an improvement for three and 14. No, I just don't see that. This roster is way too talented. And same with Justin Fields. Listen, if Justin Fields was still competing with Dante Pettis and Equinamia St. Brown and Brian Pringo as his starting receivers, then think about what he can do with elite not not elite receivers but a good supporting cast with dj moore darnell mooney and chase claypool think about it and we have an easy schedule this year to do it so 10 wins should be exact if justin fields has a mvp season like everybody says then we can be an 11 and 12 win team we can be that shit. We if Justin Fields has an MVP season, that's that's how I can see it. But we have an easy schedule. No one wants to admit it. We have the Buccaneers. We have the Buccaneers. Like even though that the Buccaneers didn't make the playoffs, they don't have a good. They they don't have Tom Brady. We play the NFC South. We play. We also play the Cardinals, and we play the Cardinals is an easy game. I mean, come on. People want to say, oh, well, it's a trap game. You never know with Kyler Murray coming back. You never know. Uh, even with Kyler coming back, I don't, I, don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Even if he does come back, you know, he's still rehabbing an ACL. Like I said, you really – that should be an easy win. The Falcons should – like, we play the NFC South. And, like, the only, like, team on the schedule that – is I could see like yeah we're definitely losing that there's no guarantees about it but I'll be happy if we can p- compete in that game is against the Kansas City Chiefs outside of Kansas City the Bears have a chance in every single game even if you want to give if you even if you want to say the Chargers I mean the Bears statistically have a shot at becoming one of the best teams in the NFC and it's possible the NFC is the, dude the NFC conference is horrible unless you're the Eagles or the 49ers. You're not doing. You're not doing. Like it's a, it's like a high ceiling. Like I feel like Justin Fields can be the second best quarterback behind Jalen Hurts. I think he, I think he can be better than Dak. I think he could be better than Daniel Jones. I think he could be better than Matthew Stafford. I think he can be obviously that if he reaches his potential. Like I said, sky's the limit for this kid. Now we we'll have to see. The Browns is a 50-50, but I see us losing that game because, you know, I think Watson's going to have a bounce back year. Also, we're uh, beating – actually, the Saints aren't easy – are is uh, easy, like, 
Derek, like, bro, they have Derek Carr, bro. Like, is, do I really need to say anything more? Even if that defense is all right, Derek Carr can't put up points, bro. Derek, they have Derek Carr, bro. Derek Carr is horrible, bro. I mean, he's 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 mid, bro. But he but he's not special. All like, like I said, we have an easy schedule. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And next year we have a more easier schedule. We have the we have the AFC South, and we have the and we and we basically have the uh, we play the NFC. I think we play the NFC. I think we play the NFC West. I think I think we play the NFC West. I, yeah, I think yeah, we do. Besides, we we have a much easier schedule. We play the Rams and we play the Cardinals, who uh, are going to go for their second rebuild. But we'll, we'll see where this team is. Well, like I said, next year is next year. But this year, the Bear, the Bears have an easy schedule than anybody wants to acknowledge. And Justin Fields, like I said, it's up to him. I'm hoping for that. Like I said, I'm not going to settle. Be like, oh, the Bears are going to have no shot. They're setting up for Caleb Williams or Drake Maine. No. My hope is in one quarterback and one quarterback only. Justin Fields. So, Bears fans, please let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, Bear Down.